15 minute sequence is for those of you with tight hamstrings, especially for runners. So start at the front of your mat, rock forward in the hips, back in the heels, left and right and find the center of your feet. Wiggle your toes, bend the knees and like suction cups, lift up through the arches of the feet. Stretch the whole body up, keep the neck loose. And then reach out in your forward fold, bend the legs till your belly's on your thighs and give your legs a hug. Shake your head yes and no. Relax. Bring your hand, foot, foot, hand in a line and stretch your right foot back. Wiggle your hips and reach your energy out through the crown of your head. Rocking forward and back. Really getting those legs stretched across the pelvis. Put the knee down, reach forward, and then pull the hips back and stretch that left hamstring. Now let's just fluidly rock forward and back. We're still warming up, so let's make this a juicy stretch. Back, let's wiggle the foot, inward rotate and outward rotation. And then bend forward up to the back toes and step both feet forward and roll up. Keep warming up. Let's lift the hands up. Swan dive forward, bend the legs and hug your legs. Relax, bring your hand, foot, foot, hand in a line and stretch your left leg back. Wiggle those hips. Stretch the body in those two directions. Bring the knee down and gently rock forward. Pull the hips back. It's really not just about the hamstrings, but moving the movements of the leg muscles around the hips. Bending forward again. Yeah, right there in the hip flexor and pull the hips back and then Inward and outward rotation with the foot. Just massage in your hips. Let's invite the hamstring to stretch. Lunge forward up to the back toes and step forward to roll up. Next sequence, moving on. Take a deep breath up, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, bend the legs, give a little hug. Inhale, lift up flat back, and then place the hands down and stretch your right foot back. Reach out through both directions and lift the body up to a standing lunge. One big circle of the arms back, bend the knees, hips facing forward. Inhale up and rotate your right heel down. Feet are perpendicular. Stretch out into the letter X. Lean forward like you're playing pool. I obviously don't know how. Left fingertips down, right arm up. Stretch into your triangle. Reach the energy up through the legs towards the hips and relax the upper body down over the front leg and open up into a wide angle. Just go ahead and rock it out, shake it out a little. You'll feel that on the edges of your legs and bend the right leg, give it a hug. A lot of the pain, hug the left leg, is in the lower back when we have tight hamstrings. So. Keep it easy here, roll over the left leg lunge, and then step both feet together and roll up. Let's do that on the other side. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, hug the legs. Inhale, stretch the legs straight, flat back. Exhale, bring hands down, stretch the left leg back. Lift the whole body up, standing lunge. Exhale, bend both knees, hips facing forward. 
Inhale up, rotate the back heel down and stretch into the X shape. Lean forward as far as you can, like you're really reaching across the pool table. Release just the arms down. I'm not putting a lot of weight on my bottom leg, but I'm lifting up into that top arm, really drawing the energy in towards the middle of the body. Release both hands down and walk into that wide angle. Shake out the hips. Feel those outside edges of the legs stretching. There's four hamstrings on the backs of the legs, so we're gonna feel that all around the legs. Hug your left leg, big bend. The inside of your right leg might be feeling this a little tight. Hug the right leg. Again, that left leg is gonna be feeling this extra stretch. Rotate back into your right lunge. Step forward, roll up. Last sequence. Inhale, arms up, stretch. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bring the hands down, but bend your right knee. You can rest your hands on your left leg if this is just too far to reach the floor. Just try to let the back relax, bend the right knee. I'm sorry, left knee, opposite knee, whatever, the other knee. Relax. Bend both legs, stretch your right leg straight back into the lunge. Lower the knee, and now let's take a big stretch forward and a big hamstring stretch on the left back. You might be able to sit all the way down. Flex the toes, let the upper body be relaxed. And then bend forward into the front leg and lift the hips. We're moving into pyramid stretch. So both feet look like a little Egyptian hieroglyphic. They're straight. You can bring your hands up to your shin if it's just a little bit too far, but pull the energy up into the hips and release the upper body over the legs. Bend back into a downward dog and shake out your hips. Lift your toes and bend your right leg. The left is reaching the heel for the floor. Lift and switch the legs. The right heel reaches for the floor. Lift both heels and let both heels descend for the floor. Roll forward into plank. Lower down into reverse push up, up into upward dog and back into downward facing dog. Gently walk forward. And roll up and we'll take that last sequence on the other side. Inhale up, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, bend the left knee. Try to release. You might need to bend both legs a little, that's okay. Bend the right leg. Bend both legs and stretch the left leg back. Go ahead and bring the knee to the floor and lean forward, getting that hip flexor stretch and then pull all the way back and try to relax as you're really getting into that right hamstring. Ooh, it might feel a little tight, <sighs> but we just keep going. Reach forward into that lunge. You could step forward, lift the hips. Make sure your feet are not too far apart so that everything is in pyramid stretch. Straight legs, straight hips. Release the upper body. You can always rest the hands by the shin. Just don't push on your kneecap if the floor feels really far away and then stretch back into downward facing dog. This is the only time your arms are actually carrying weight. Bend your right knee, 
lift up to the toes and bend the left knee. So if you didn't want to be on your arms or your wrists. You could absolutely skip the downward dogs in this sequence. It's mostly about the legs today. Roll into your plank, lower down into your reverse push-up. Lift into your upward dog, and this time back into child's pose. So if you skipped those downward dogs, meet us in child's pose. If you just remember these stretches, these would be excellent after a run. This child's pose is right about this lower back, just relaxing for your final stretch. Lie on your back. This is a really good one. Right after a run, release your pelvis. Bring your right leg into your chest. Flex the foot and see if you can squeeze that foot and knee down into the body. Stretch the left leg like you're standing, and this might be enough for you. We're going to start to stretch that leg straight. Walk your hands down wherever you need to. Be pushing the quadricep, the front of the thigh, away and pulling your calf towards you. Release this leg. Let's try the left. Hug it in close to the chest, flex the foot, stretch the right foot of the way. That's a lot of the work there on the right, giving that sort of splits action across the pelvis. And when you're ready, stretch into this left leg, thigh pushing away, toes reaching towards your face, calf moving towards your face. Ah, You can draw this leg as close to your face as you can and then let it go. We've done a lot across the pelvis, so let's take a little twist. Bring both knees in and over to the right. Look to your left. The twist releases any spinal tension you might be feeling. Knees up and over to the other side. Look in the opposite direction and just take a deep breath to begin to slow down. Knees in, let's stretch them long. Take a deep breath in and <sighs> We spend so much time of the day with tight muscles. I want you to think of those muscles. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, see if you can let go. Let the muscle fall away from the bone. See if your jaw can let go a little bit more. <sighs> stretch the hands overhead, stretch the toes, reach one arm long. And then take your other arm and stretch that side of your body. Bring everything into a little ball. Rock it back and forth a couple times until you roll over to your right side. Use that top leg to swing your body up. And then come to an easy cross-legged position. Just a brief moment for us to close together. Lift the arms overhead, bring the prayer hands to your third eye, your mouth and your heart. Namaste.